So we're out trashing things, <laughs> getting ready to abandon the car. Boy, I tell you, getting getting 100 miles to the gallon, loving it. I uh, saw the gas price today. I paid I paid 350, man. Can't believe it. Anyway, we're here at the uh, the Pruitt Trailhead. Uh, this getting back on the Florida Trail. I figured uh, it's it's wet and nasty. This is the new. Uh, sleeve for the umbrella hope you're kind of seeing that but let's uh let's get a look at the sign here so let's get it uh, a mile easty here you will encounter some rugged terrain it's a leftover from a ship canal dug <laughs> during the great depression some eight thousand men shoveled tons of sand and dirt onto mule drawn carts and trucks swatting away mosquitoes in the sweltering heat that's what we're going to be doing today Swatting mosquitoes and then uh, returning to nature. I'll let you kind of read the the rest of the rest of this here There's just more talking about the canal um, But anyway here at the Pruitt Pruitt trailhead what's nice is uh, we do have a uh, Port of John, you know me in the bathrooms real real important uh, I'm gonna go over here. I could I'm hoping to pick up the trail. I think it's just gonna go right along the road up here now if if you know if the, I would love to hike back into the forest here but it's just too wet and nasty um, the bugs are gonna be out uh, so we're just gonna con continue on the Florida Trail you know the the goal is to hike all uh, 1400 miles of the Florida Trail so today we'll just be hiking down the road uh, probably not much of a video but uh, I'm going to get over here, get the sign for you, and uh, and then we'll get going. All right, guys. So, just kind of want to get this to show you the nothing hike that we're going to do today. Now, we're right here. This is Pruitt Trailhead. Why am I out here? Because I <laughs> there's only one Lowe's in all of Florida that has the uh, eucalyptus mulch and uh, that's that's anti-bug and that's what I use around my house so that's why I had to come all the way out here luckily getting 100 miles to the gallon so we're gonna what we need to do is I gotta hike back this way to cover this portion of the Florida Trail which we haven't done yet um, but instead I mean today I'm just gonna hike down this road and then get out on the highway uh, just to because like I said we're gonna hike all 1400 miles so you can see, here's the Shangri-La Trailhead, there's the Ross Prairie Trailhead, we've been there. There's the 49th Street Trailhead, um, and then you got the Land Bridge Trailhead. So we're, and then of course all the way back here is the Santos Trailhead. So we've hiked all of this. Uh, and uh, you're not gonna do it this time of the year. <laughs> so here's, here's where the trail actually goes back into the forest. Uh, and you know what, I'm, I'm even being eaten just standing out here I mean, you can see there's nobody here. <laughs> Nobody's stupid enough to come out here and uh, and do this uh, except me. So uh, let's just get on on the road. I, by the way, uh, stock market down. Uh, what is it, 800 points today or something like that? I I told you guys the stock market was going to crash, and nobody listens to me. Nobody <laughs> nobody believes me. Whatever, you know. Told you gas prices were going up. Oh, imagine that, imagine that. Nobody listens to me. Nobody. All right, so I got the Toyota Prius Prime. By the way, I, hopefully I'm going to get some good birds on the video. I'm, I've been kind of watching them from the car before I got out to sweat here. And uh, get going on the trail, or not the trail. <laughs> this, this is, if you can believe it, this is the, this is the trail. This is what we're going to do today. I'm just going to hike a couple hours, uh, just to knock out this portion of the Florida Trail. It's not going to be pretty, but uh, you know we got to get it all in. And like I said, some portions of the Florida Trail are, you know, they're not in the forest or anything. Um, so anyway, but I was, you know, I was out this way. And uh, <laughs> check this out, by the way. Oh my goodness. For your protection, vehicles should be locked and valuables stored out of sight. <laughs> Boy, that's reassuring, isn't it? But uh, I, I don't see, I mean, there's nobody here. So 
you know, maybe uh, maybe they've had some theft in the past. So let's just get out on the highway and uh, and that'll be it. So not much to the hike today. We're just gonna go this way and hopefully I won't get eaten too bad. I got all my my hiking gear in the car, which I could put on, but not not for just hiking down a road. All right, bye bye. So I was beginning to wonder if I read that uh, sign right. But uh, if you look right here, there's the orange marker on the tree. So we're just going to hike out to the road and keep on going. But, uh, you know, it, everything has its beauty. I mean, look at this. Isn't this really cool? You know, I'm out here in the middle of nowhere. All right. All right, so I just wanted to get this on the video. Because uh, if you ever do come this way, <laughs> not much to it. It says Florida Trail right there. And uh, this will be the sign that you're going to look for. Uh, it's the Pruitt Trailhead 15430 Southwest 484. Um, I just wanted to show you there's the marker on the pole. And we're just going to start hiking down the, uh, the road here. Man, I, there was a bird. <laughs> I was going to get him on the video. And the sucker got away from me three times. I swear I can scare the birds. But uh, I had to drive through this. Look at how much rain we've had, huh? That's why I'm not hiking back into the forest. I'm just going out here and knock out this portion of the road. So we're just uh, we're just going to hike down this way. I, <laughs> I don't get it. But uh, that's the Florida Trail. So it seems rather strange. I'm getting ready to get wet. That's why I brought the umbrella. But we're just hiking down the road here. I got to get the umbrella out. Uh, I'm wondering if this is the trail over here. I have no idea. I see the orange. You see there's an orange post up there, but I'm not sure that that's marking the trail. So I don't know. I'm going to keep going here for a little while longer. Got to get the umbrella up. I guess it's time to give up. <laughs> it's even getting too crazy for me out here. I haven't seen anything to indicate I'm on the Florida Trail. I don't know. Just almost got hit by a car. I was out there walking. He was passing somebody. So I'm going to go ahead and turn back. I got a guy over here working on the fence. I want to ask him if I'm on the Florida Trail. I don't think I am. I haven't seen any orange markers on the poles. So uh, we'll just get right up here. He's probably going to take off before I get there. Hey! Hell of a storm! Hell of a storm! Well, if the umbrella's keeping the phone dry, <laughs> but, but the wind's blowing so damn hard that my... I'm getting soaked here, man. I tell you, I fortunately the guy took off before I could get to him. We're just turning back at this point. I'll try to figure out where I went wrong. Somehow we, we may or may not be on the Florida Trail. All right, I could be wrong. It looks like a mark on that pole right there. Unfortunately, I wish I should have hung out because <laughs> there he goes. I could have asked him whether I was on the trail or not. Oh, well. So the weather dog, because <laughs> remember my dog does a better job of predicting the damn weather forecast than the weather people are here in Florida. But I just had a lightning bolt hit a tree near me so I, I got to get back to the car but I mean look at this I mean you know oh the rain's ending it's uh, all the storms are blowing out news to me news to me you idiots so I'm back to the sign here's here's where we are I swear it just shows it going out to the road what a bust huh you know what let's just go I'm gonna get eaten alive but I'm just going to go down this trail just briefly just to kind of see what it looks like. Uh, this is the next section of the Florida Trail that I'm really looking forward to. And uh, we'll just go a ways down in here. Um, so, you know, right here you're sharing the uh, trail with the bicycles, uh, you know, during the winter time when the snowbirds are here. Uh, this is a pretty, uh, pretty uh, frequented trail. You can hear the thunder off in the distance. So... Uh, Luckily, that lightning bolt, uh, <laughs> it, was, it was off to the side. But uh, anyway, this is uh, looking 
pretty cool. I think I would really enjoy. Oh man, it's raining on me again. I just put the umbrella away because I just thought I'd come down in here two seconds just to see what this looked like. All right, let's, uh, we're probably gonna have to turn around and call it a day. So the weather dog says, there's no rain. <laughs> Are you seeing what I'm seeing? There's no rain, people. None, none, no, no rain. There's nothing in the forecast today. Okay. Um, luckily, I found some shelter here. Should be over here pretty quick. Well, here's something for all the woke people out there. Few people have said bad things about the bald eagle, but author Cleveland said it best or worst. He said that eagles are lazy, thieves, bullies, and carrion eaters. If you look at the facts, he may sound right. The reason why he said that was because eagles sit in the same branch for hours, lazy. They steal from osprey and hunt only for small animals, thieves and bullies. Also, sometimes they do not hunt at all. They'll look around for dead animals and eat the molding, decaying, rotten flesh. Carrion eater, something that devours dead and decaying flesh. Even so, he definitely looks better than a turkey as our national bird declared June 20th, 1798, declared the national bird. So there you go. We got a carrion eater <laughs> for our national bird. All you woke people, boy, you, I guess we need to we need to work on that. Maybe uh, maybe we'll we'll declare some other bird. There you go.